Good morning. So nice to have you join us on a beautiful day here in the Tennessee Valley. And if you are lucky enough to be watching us from the comfort of your home, hopefully it's a clean one this morning. But if it's not and you're thinking, if I have to vacuum one more time, I'm going to scream. You are in luck because Ashley Farrar is kicking things off for us this morning. She's here with Molly Maid. I think I'm speaking from personal experience because <laughs> I was home for the last 10 days or so and I was just telling you I got kind of housebound after right. a while, but I did a lot of cleaning while right. I was home. Moving those things that you haven't moved in a while, that right. shelf that you look at and you go, that's a little too tall for me to get to today. Right. We'll just do this one. <laughs> or the sunlight conditions. If you're, if you're not normally home at a certain time of day and then you see that sun coming through, all of a sudden there's all the dust. Yep, and it's you, literally flying in the air. It is truly. <laughs> so you, I could have used you uh, these last several days, but I think you've got a great topic this morning. And that is that once you do make the decision to have a cleaning service come in it really is important that they're vetted and that you're using a company because these are people in your home you yeah. want to be safe this is a lot different than someone that's coming in cleaning your office and cleaning the whole office building this is actually in your home with your stuff where your family lives where your kids live where your pets live mm -hmm. so you really want to make sure it's someone that you can trust that's in your home and that's going to be someone that's insured someone that's vetted and bonded mm -hmm. someone that's gone through a background check you know, and those are things that a company like Molly made, we do that for you. Right. So you don't have to go, oh, well, I know so-and-so down the street, and now I need to do all that stuff myself. Right. Because if something happens in your home, it's either going to go on you and your homeowner's insurance or on your licensed, bonded, and insured individual that you've allowed to be in your home. That's a really good point too. Yeah, yeah. damage or something. Damage or, you know. Or an injury. Injuries, mm -hmm. that's, that's a big one. If someone falls down your stairs. Right. Who pays for that? Well, and you know, I know you brought, typically you like to come on here and just talk and kind of educate people, but you don't mind bragging when it's warranted. So congratulations <laughs> on your best of the best. Yes, thank uh, you. And thank you to the customers who voted for us because it really is a customer driven uh, contest yeah. and things like that. So the community really supported us and we like to think that we support the community back too with our charities and nonprofits that we support. So Well, you do. Um, you know, you have a, a long list of clients and I know that you do, but I would imagine you've seen a growth in the last few years uh, among adult children looking for someone to come in and help their aging parents in their home. We do. And you know, a lot of times they don't live here in town with right. their adult parents. So right. they're having to go, okay, I live in Chicago. I need to find I a company I can trust. They can't just open the phone book or see mm -hmm. who's at the neighbor's house at that point. Right. So we like to be someone that you can call from afar. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they've got a Molly made in their hometown too. Right. And it's the same name. It's the same company that they know they can trust because we're all meeting those same standards. When you were talking about the injury, that's kind of what came to my mind though, is that it's not just uh, a worry of an injury on the site itself, but if somebody were to leave and there's still a wet spot in the kitchen uh, and your mom was to be the one to fall, you know, you just have to have somebody who really is trained in what they're doing right. to not overlook something. Right, exactly. Like we're going to dry your floors before we leave. Mm -hmm. You know, just different things like that. And a lot of that goes with training. Right. We fully train people. We don't just go, oh, good. You have, you know, two arms and two legs. Right. Go clean. You also typically work as a team, right? It's generally We two. always send two people. And that's for accountability too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have two people. If something does happen, they were there. They can help, you know, start the process, whether we need to call an emergency service or, right. you know, they'll always start by calling the customer and calling the office and moving further from there. And hopefully it's a non-issue. You know, right. we go in hundreds of houses that, you know, we come in and we clean, we leave, everything's fine. Right. So when people do contact you, Ashley, can, I know they can customize it um, for like the areas of their home that are the most troubling spots and maybe once a month it's a deep clean or whatever their need might be. But are they signing a contract with you? Is it truly month to month? How does that work? Okay, we don't sign any contracts with Molly Maid. We do put you on a regular schedule. So if you say, hey, I want to be every other week or if I want to be once a month, you're going to be every other Tuesday or you know, once a month, every four weeks on Friday. Mm -hmm. So we'll put you on a regular schedule. 
you can start and stop at any time. Okay. We ask that you give us a little bit of notice because we typically have a waiting list of clients that are, you know, needing to get service. And right. You call us at noon and say, don't come today at two. Right. <laughs> you know, we don't really have the opportunity to take sure. care of someone else. Sure. But no, we don't sign contracts. We just hope to earn your business every time we're there. I know we're on the cusp of allergy season. I saw a back to school commercial the other day. Kids don't want to hear it, but it's coming. So um, <laughs> if you do keep your house clean, when that ragweed begins to be an issue in the fall, it'll make a big difference for you, won't it? It will. Between that and changing your filters, you know, if you can capture that dust mm -hmm. and take it out of your home, if we can capture it on the microfiber cloths, take it out of your home, that's really going to help keep things in control. So I know your offices are right there on Brainerd Road. Mm -hmm. uh, you are local, but it is a national company, as you mentioned. So when people call to make an appointment, are they talking to somebody initially in your office or is it on a on national level. Do you know what I'm asking? You know, it kind of depends on what time you call. We okay. do have an answering service that if you call after hours or on the weekends, okay. you will talk to someone at an answering service, but ultimately that ends up in our office. So the message comes to us, okay. you know, right over here on Brainerd Road. I thought that that was the answer, which is why I asked the question, mm -hmm. because I didn't want people to think that if they did have that experience, it somehow meant that they weren't going to get you. Yeah, at the end of the day, if we're not there to answer, you will get someone, but okay. we'll be the ones to call you back, to schedule you, to send someone to your home. Okay, you can find them online at mollymade.com, but the phone number, easy to remember, 892 made we're back after this. <laughs>